Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Hollywood Studios. It has been slow in the parks this past week, so I wanted to come out and check on some of the wait times. And then also there's tons of new food that I haven't gotten the chance to try yet. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. We are heading into the second week of May and the temperature out right now is 93 degrees. It's definitely starting to feel hot again in Florida. It has been beautiful weather for like the past month and this is the first time that it's jumped up to the 90s and it takes a little bit to get used to, you know what I mean? It takes a little bit to get back in the Florida flow of things. The Florida flow of things, I like that. One of the things I've been wanting to do at Hollywood Studios is watch the Beauty and the Beast musical, but I always miss it because it ends at like 5 o'clock, and I think we're in time for the last show, so we're going to make our way over there first. My favorite thing about the Beauty and the Beast musical is probably Chip and Mrs. Potts. They are so cool. I love their costumes, and I can't wait to show you. A lot of people don't even know that there's a Beauty and the Beast musical over here. Like I said, it closes at 5 p.m., so a lot of people miss it. This is where we want to be, the Theater of the Stars, Beauty and the Beast, and the last showing is at 5 p.m., so we're going to have some time before that. Maybe we'll uh, go check out Tower of Terror, but we don't want to miss it. It is $18 to purchase the Genie Plus today, and I don't think anybody needs it. Look at Smuggler's Run is 25 minutes. Uh, Tower of Terror is only 20 minutes. Rock and Roller, Coast Rock and Roller Coaster is actually closed at the moment. But uh, yeah, Toy Story Mania is 45 minutes. Slinky Dog Dash is 55 minutes. These are great. These are great wait times for today. Wow, take a look at that. Tower of Terror, a 20 minute wait at 4.30 in the afternoon on a Wednesday. That is incredible. So I think we'll have time to ride. I think we'll have, I think we're just gonna make it. So this is perfect. Just because it says 20 minutes doesn't always mean that it's 20 minutes. And uh, we're gonna time it. Right now it is 4.35. So we have 25 minutes exact to get to the Beauty and the Beast musical. So I wonder, are we gonna make it? I mean, do we risk it? I feel like we should risk it. Risk it for Tower of Terror. This is obviously a very good start right here. Wow. Did we luck out today or what? Usually there's always a queue all the way back there and that's kind of cool to see a, a crow in the queue of the Tower of Terror. This is, this is really good. Uh oh, I'm starting to think we might have made a mistake. I was literally just walking right through the queue until we got to this point right here and now we've been here for seven minutes. Seven minutes. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling and movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right. Okay, we've made it all the way to the point where we're about to get in the elevator, and it is 4.52, so we have eight minutes. I don't know if this is possible, but I'm willing to try. Looks like we've got the front row, too. Well, row number two, but that's the front. That's my favorite. Oh, I'm so excited that we're actually getting to ride this. Even if we don't get to Beauty and the Beast, happy I'm doing Tower. terror was amazing and that last drop really like came down I hit my butt and I felt it I felt it in my butt but now we got to make our way to uh, Beauty and the Beast looks like we made it with one minute to spare look at that 501 
Oh wait, no, we're, we're late by a minute. <laughs> we're late. <laughs> She found herself held captive inside a dark and forbidding castle, inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. Oh! Master will be furious if he finds out what we are up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? There is nothing to worry about. No, nothing. Just our entire future. Oh, oh hello there. Be our guest for dinner. We'll keep it simple. What are you talking about? What's going on? Come on, Mom. I'm a little kid, dear. Oh, dear. No need to worry. We'll keep it simple. Hi. Stop. Stop it, I say. Do you hear me? Oh. I said quiet! If we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make her feel welcome. Monsieur, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. And now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. happy that we are able to catch the Beauty and the Beast show. It's such a good show. It's such a great musical. In fact, the first time I've ever seen Beauty and the Beast uh, like performed live or like as a musical, it was for my sister's play in school and she was actually a fork. So good to know that Bomb Bomb was a fork, but I love it. And did you guys notice Mrs. Potts and uh, Chip? Aren't they so cute the way they wobble, like they wobble across the stage? It's really good. It's such a, you have to check it out if you can. Easy for you. Okay. There's like a, around seven in the morning. Okay. <laughs> what planet do you travel to? Disney Galaxy's Edge. Batu. Yes. Okay. Alright. What is the name of the advertised menu located at the top of the Hollywood Tower Hotel? Uh, the tip top.
Before becoming the ride-centric theme park we know today, what was Hollywood Studios primarily used as? A studio, an animation studio. Yes, it was built as a working studio with a tour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One more. Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway was passed in full scale of what Hollywood theme Oh, the uh, film is Chinese theater. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Oh, I see them. Oh, I think two things. Yeah, two things. Any two things that you want. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Let's see Daisy and Mickey. Oh, wait, no, Pluto. There you hey, go. Mickey. There we go. Pluto, 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 Pluto. I'm sorry, Daisy. It's no. okay. Would you like to see the two things? That's the way. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great one, guys. <laughs> that was nice. That's awesome. This is the way. <laughs> That was really funny and spontaneous. We were walking down Sunset and then they started uh, doing trivia and they asked, hey, do you want to do some trivia? And they gave me four questions and I got nervous because I was like, what if I get them wrong? But at the same time, I was like, all right, I know, I know Hollywood Studios. And I ended up getting them all right. And I got two stickers. I got a Pluto and a Mickey and uh, great success. Now I think it's time uh, we're gonna head on over to the Hollywood Brown Derby and uh, hang out in the lounge, maybe have a drink, get something to eat. If you guys didn't notice, Dustin is actually uh, with me, uh, DTH. Uh, he met up with me and I was just like, hey, we're about to ride Tower of Terror and Beauty and the Beast in 30 minutes, you win? And he was like, I'm on my way. The outdoor lounge area of the Brown Derby is separate from the restaurant on the inside and you can actually walk up and just come sit out here and they serve the full menu and that's what we did. We got a nice little table and we're going to grab some drinks and then also I hear they have a new dessert so I'm going to get the dessert and I looked at it and it's like a brulee champagne sabion? Saban? Saban? Yeah, it sounds really fancy. Minted strawberries and lemon pine. And then also, they also have a new corn bisque. So I think I'm gonna get the corn bisque and the, the brulee champagne. Huh, that's such a, that's such a unique combination. Thank you, appreciate that. Oh boy, look at the soup. Oh wow. Thank you. Well, That's how you wanted to go, right? Yes. That was magical. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is such a strange bowl. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. But it was really cool. The presentation was pretty amazing. And I can't wait to try it. Look at this. Oh, wow. This looks so good. There's an extra spoon. Oh, soup spoon. Like soup. Ah, like uh, like 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 <laughs> Would you like a little bit of that? I thought you were picking up the spoon because no, you were like, no, I want no, a bite. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Get that, get that big spoon. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So now we're going to try it, though. I thought you wanted some. You can have some, though. I appreciate it. I'm yeah. Try some. Yeah, have some soup. No soup for you. You want to do a soup? Cheers. Oh, yeah. I'll here we go. Soup. All right. Cheers. I heard a little ting there, too. It was a little ting. Oh. <laughs> That's good, dude. Good soup? That's good. Nothing like a 90 okay. degree day and some hot soup to go along with it. Cheers. Oh, I'm dropping my, uh, I'm dropping my bisque. Yeah, and it was good. That's amazing soup. That's amazing. I, I keep on, I'm, I'm splattering bisque everywhere. This is definitely one of the best corn bisque I've ever had. I loved it so much and the corn fritter was fantastic. It's a little hard eating out of this bowl though because I feel like I'm just dripping it all over the side here and also on my pants but luckily I'm wearing Roosevelt so like even when you drip something on there it just literally you just wipe it away <laughs> it literally just wipes away and I love that also I love this shirt too it's a trap look at that I actually prefer I think sitting out here on the lounge than inside at the restaurant the restaurants nice but it's very loud here it's very chill very relaxed it's outdoors beautiful umbrellas and uh, you don't have to fight to get a reservation all right enough of the bisque business here is the brulee champagne and I don't even know if I'm saying it right the Sabian Sabiana I don't know I feel like I'm saying the the villain from Shazam but it looks amazing. Look at that. You got the strawberries under there. And then you also have, it kind of looks like maybe graham cracker right here. I don't even know what that is. Looks really good. I can't wait to try it. Like regardless, this is new. They just added it to the menu. They said along with the uh, corn bisque. So got to try all the new stuff, the fancy stuff. I am trying to figure out how I should eat this. Because I don't know if I just scoop up the strawberries and eat it like that or do I build like a little sandwich with this over here so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a little strawberry here and we're gonna put it on the end of this just like that 
It's kind of have a teetering there. Hopefully it doesn't break. Oh yeah, that's the way. This is actually working. Here we go. Going in for the first bite. This is actually very refreshing. When I say that as like a thing, like I feel refreshed when I eat it. The the minty strawberries is a nice little touch. This is really good. I, I feel like they probably, uh, well, they do because it's in the name, but brulee the top there. But look at this. Wow. I can actually just eat it. I can just eat it. Like I can just literally eat these strawberries. It is so good. The signature dessert here though is always going to be the grapefruit cake, which that is such a unique taste. It's kind of got like a a tartness to it and this is the complete opposite so if you don't like the grapefruit cake when you come to the brown derby might want to try your might want to try this think you might like it a lot i do well that was really fun hanging out at the hollywood brown derby and it was also good catching up with dth i haven't seen him since uh disneyland paris actually so it was fun that we got to hang out together a little bit and now we're gonna keep moving along i enjoyed all of my items at the brown derby i enjoyed the corn bisque and my dessert and i want to see if we can uh, maybe get on another ride maybe over to uh mickey and minnie's runaway railway it's right over here so we'll see what the wait time's like Earlier I was talking about how it's been slow in the parks and the wait times are super low today and Tower of Terror was only a 20 minute wait and let me tell you something that was a 20 minute wait and Rise of the Resistance and Rock and Roller Coaster were both closed. A 20 minute wait and both those attractions being closed that is unheard of and now we're going to check on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and from the looks of it there's no line back there. Look at that. There's nobody. Look at They're just walking right on in. It says that it's a 40 minute wait, but there's no way this is 40 minutes. Like we're walking right on in. I love this sign so much actually. <laughs> Here comes our runaway train. Testing, testing. Can you all hear me? Play back in the back. Oh, you're welcome aboard, folks. You're ready for a relaxing ride around the park. Holy 
holy moly, we are lucking out with the weights today. Like that was nothing. That was like a, maybe a 10, maybe 15 minute wait, under 20 minutes with Tower of Terror. These are the days that I like. These are the good Disney days. Well, I guess you can say every day in Disney is a good day, but uh, it's even better when you don't have to wait an hour plus long lines. And I feel like that's something everyone can agree with. Now, I don't know what we should do. Well, should we just keep moving along? Maybe go get another ride in, check out some more food. It's definitely a hot day today, but it's at least it's cooling down as it gets later. After carefully considering my options, I think I'm just gonna head home. It's been a very hot day. We got a lot accomplished in a short amount of time, but I wanna go home, I wanna see Gracie, and uh, also maybe stop and walk through some of the gift shops and see if there's any new merch. You know, usually I like to come get things uh, at Hollywood Studios because I feel like they have more availability on some of the hotter items, like things that sell out quick. So, um, uh, you know, just walk through there, gander, and see if anything catches our fancy, and then uh, make our way out of the park and home to see Gracie Girl. As we were walking through the shops, I noticed something that's kind of really awesome, and that is a 30% off the Legacy Box Lightsabers. 30% off, look at that. That's incredible. I don't know if you can stack your discount on that. I think you can. So if you have an annual pass or a cast member discount, there's a good chance you can stack your discount. And that's a huge savings. They even have, uh, I thought that was the dark saber. Is it the dark saber? I can't tell. It looks like it. That's really impressive if it is. Wow, it is the dark saber. 30% off. Holy moly. Originally, they're $249. That's incredible. I wonder if that's included in that or if it's just the, the these regular ones. Oh boy, I, I might have to find out. A couple of other things that I'm excited about is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 merchandise. I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought it was such a great, great movie. And they even have a rocket pillow pet. Look at this. <laughs> I love the pillow pets. That doesn't look like rocket too much though. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I don't think that's Rocket. They also have a Groot bubble blower down there. It's kind of fun. I'm still questioning Groot there though. <gasps> what are they trying to do here? Look at that. Is this Sad Eyes Groot? If you guys have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But that one right there. Look at that. It's like Sad Eyes Groot. This looks more like Groot than that one. I don't even know what's going on there. It kind of looks like a bulldog. They don't even look the same. I almost walked out of there with a lightsaber. It's such a great deal. And I asked, and they can stack your uh, annual pass uh, discount with that. So that's hard to pass up, but I have a lot of the legacy lightsabers. My next big one is I wanna build my own at Savi's. I've done it before, but I've never built my own. I've only ever done it and then gave them away or did it for a charity or something like that. So that's my next big one. I wanna build my own saber. One of these days I'm gonna schedule doing it. It's just, it's just time at this point it's just timing one more spot I always like to check out is Adrian and Edith's head to toe costumes of the stars and they have a lot of the errors collection along with the Disney 100 and oh my lord is that a hoodie look at this beauty it's one of the Walt Disney's Disneyland, and it's a hoodie. I've never seen this before. It has Frontierland, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, and Fantasyland on there. This is too cool. $54.99. That's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal at all. And they also have like a, a woman's cut here or a shirt cut there, I think. Or maybe they're all like that. I don't know. I can't tell. They also have the Tinkerbell statue, but these are really, really cool. I love all of this. I love the whole Errors collection. I think this is better than anything from uh, the 50th anniversary. And with that, I think we are done here today. Sorry the video is shorter than usual. Um, I have some things I have to do tonight to get ready for a very cool, fun road trip that I can't wait to actually, I don't even know if you call it a road trip. It's just a quick trip. But I'm very excited to share it with you guys. I'll be posting from some familiar places with hopefully some familiar faces and uh, I'm very excited about it. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. 
Of course, we can't forget about our daily check-in with Gracie Girl. Are you having a good day, Princess Gracie? You want a cookie? I got some nice cookies for you. Oh yeah. Which one do you want? You got this one? Well, hold on now. We got this one. One's vanilla, one's peanut butter, and uh, carabo. I think that's what they call it. Which one do you want? You gonna pick and choose? How about if I set them down? Here, we'll set them right here. Which one? Ah, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, that's the one, huh? She's licking it. Who licks the outside of a cookie? Gracie. I mean, I guess, but what about this one? <laughs> Is that good? I think she likes it. Hey, oh, all right, just take it. I hope you guys enjoyed this snack time with Gracie.